What's up everybody and welcome to Canada. I'm the Shadow Phoenix and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. Okay, so last time that stupid gut boy named Duck got somebody killed and I want to kill him but I decided to protect him because I'm not an asshole. And some guy is dying of a, like, a heart attack or something like that. So, let us look at... Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. <laughs> Maybe they, there were a lot of donations, just no, but it just people hey needed to eat. Hi. Any word from, Any word Glenn? from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can, Can I get I, you anything? Uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Uh, so, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yeah. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Anyway. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Yo, give her the chocolate bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Uh, yeah, I took care of her. It's not damaged. Now this place didn't get looted. Okay, then damage it. Take energy bar. I want to eat myself. I'm hungry. And more energy bars. Even more energy bars. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. It's all no. melted now. <laughs> okay. Talk to him. Can't talk to him. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yes. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway. We, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank You're you, welcome. How is Duck? Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky yeah. as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How well, is she doing? <laughs> She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. <sighs> What's the plan, guys? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear I up. I think we should sh you shoot Duck in the lake the and then, like, That's throw true. him outside for a distraction. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, I didn't even know. I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Sure, they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It yeah, happens, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. <sighs> Should have been a dick to him. Uh, 
Okay. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Not sweet, Lee. <sighs> anyway. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. Hey. <sighs> What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. It's he his fault. He takes tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids. Got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. What if it is? Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Sucks. She's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh, that sucks. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Jesus. Alive inside. Face your parents' deathbed. I can't. I can't think about them in here. It sucks. There's a photo over there. Uh, let's take it and see what is up. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I of course you are. Trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, no. But it's sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy. 
and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks. <sighs> okay, look. Alley. This door leads to the back alley. Yeah, let's actually not do that just in case. was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Oh, this is so sad. Let's talk to her. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Try my hardest. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. <sighs> My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. And then he killed her. Congratulations. At least you tried. Okay, how do you switch camera? Left. Ooh, box. First aid kit. Okay. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay, shift. How do you change camera angles? I ought to clear, clear a path here. to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Right. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. Ah, oh, uh, positive thinkers. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? Let's not talk about it. Do you What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing, and things like Pretty that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Yeah. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? No, it's because they're dead. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. This yeah. part's so sad. Got some... 
I got into some trouble and, and I didn't yeah. talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ah, oh, damn it, what did you... Oh, come you on. Okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Anything in here? Nope. Except a remote. Let's see. First aid kit? Band-aid. Okay. Let's have a look at that finger. How? Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little. Not too much. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. We've got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. Yeah. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip top shape. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Okay, cover it up. And there you go. Problem solved. How the hell did you Me? get a cut anyway? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, They'll find uh, us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This has been the Shadow Phoenix. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.